Hey guys, what is up? Alex and Brody and welcome to Speak Last. This is another indie horror game. Looks pretty cool, has an awesome art style. So it's a bit of like an interactive mystery title. Incoming call and then caller. It's me. I found your note. You've come to collect. What? Haven't you? After all the things you took from us, it just wasn't enough. And you know what the best part is? You waited six years to show yourself again. I what? That's right, you intentionally let me believe that we survived, only to wake me into this nightmare at the perfect time. Well, you know what? You can have me. I don't want to. I've carried this guilt for six years, and I... I just can't stand it anymore. But please, please promise me that I alone will be enough. What? After all these years, I think I finally understand why she decided to... She did it for us. She did it to put an end to you. Cool, whatever. It's now my time to join her. Enjoy your fucking show. Was that just a gunshot? What? That is just wow. That's one hell of a way to start off the game. Jesus, what's happening? Go what's going on over there? Who is this? Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Hello? No further communication detected. Scan for next communication. Scanning for transmissions. What? Amber, hello, are you there? Uh, hi? Amber, fine, you must have called you like 20 times. What's wrong with you, Arrow? Arrow? We'll just go with Aaron, pretend this is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Arrow, what is that? Ha ha, Amber, ha ha, very funny. Forgot about tonight, didn't you? Mia, you promised me we'd do this together. If you're going to flake, at least send me a text, so I don't have to come all the way out here in the middle of the night. And why are my visual share requests getting denied? Where are you right now anyways? For reals, I'm not Mia, what are you talking about? What in the world is visual share? For reals, I'm not Mia, for reals. Okay, whoa, 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 that was way too many. Unbelievable, I swear I'm, I swear when I get out of here. Shit, it's 20 seconds to 12 a.m. Mia, yeah, you better stay on the line. We're doing this. You're doing this with me. Me one way or another. I think it's starting. Wow, okay. This is pretty intense. You received an image file. Of a hallway? It looks, looks like a generic hallway. In like a school, asylum, prison. Okay, maybe not prison. It's not bars. Hospital. Good lord, where are now? Amber, I don't know where that is, but I think you should leave now. Amber, I don't know where that is, but I think you should definitely leave now. We are definitely going with that answer. Yeah, it's too late for that now. I'm not going to finish this ritual as quickly as possible. Haunted or not, the school at night gives me the creeps. Okay, I'm assuming I need to open this very obvious box to begin the process. What the fuck? Wait, what? Okay, so somehow I'm now part of a summoning ritual over the phone with... Amber? I'm sorry, did you say ritual? Like, what the fuck are we doing trying to summon a demon in a school? Or with you over the phone in a school? Uh, Amber, yes, apparently you're performing a ritual to appease the evil spirit haunting our school. Didn't you read any of the info we were sent? Uh, no, because I got no info. You my only info right now. I'm opening it. How bad can it be? Oh, hey, seems like that triggered some kind of countdown for 30 minutes also. Like, oh, just, oh, by the way, triggered a countdown. Those countdowns are always good. Nothing bad ever happens when there's a 
count down. Oh, fuck. Oh, also, um... Oh, just also severed hand in this box. Like, also, just by the way. That's cool. Um... Yeah, I'm not touching that. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't know if you should be so chill either. Uh, is the hand gesture supposed to mean something? There seems to be a piece of paper under the hand. 30 minutes. What happens when the countdown reaches zero? We're just going all in. There's a piece of paper under the hand. Sure, let's... Sure is. Let's have a look. Cool, we're just digging under severed hand. I've been robbed of what is mine. Return all three and everything will be fine. The first is amongst keys that sing. But don't open the doors, you'll find what you seek tucked away deep inside my core. Within the forest of knowledge, you'll surely find the second. Let's take a trip around the world your heart beckons. The last sits somewhere on the uppermost floor, in a private place. S oh, stare. Fuck, that little gap was confusing me. Stare into your own eyes and don't be phased. When you've gathered all, be sure to return here in this exact place. Or all shall burn. Great. All shall burn. Fills me with fucking confidence. So I'm assuming this is a riddle. So the first is amongst keys that sing but don't open doors. You'll find what you seek tucked away deep inside my core. I'm assuming a piano. Uh, if the spirit knows where everything is, why not just fetch it themselves? <laughs> so I'm assuming what we are looking at, we are looking for three missing fingers. If the spirits know where everything is, why not just fetch it themselves? Great answer. Uh, I guess that he has to punish us, presuming for stealing the fingers. Well, the riddle seems to be pretty straightforward, at least. Let's start from the top. Don't forget, we do have a time limit. So where will we find the keys that sing but don't open doors? Let's try the music room. Hmm, since ritual takes place in the main building, I'm assuming it's not referring to the auditorium or the music center. Oh, wasn't there a classroom on level 4 that used to be a music room? You hear that? Someone's playing the piano. I think we're on the right track. Well done, us. Creepy fucking piano. What is that in the pic? Like, please tell me I'm not the only one that sees that. Kinda looks like a person. Kinda also creepy as fuck. The piano keys are moving on their own. Maybe the riddle is referring to inside of the grand piano. I would assume so. The riddle said deep inside my core, so maybe it's referring to inside of the great piano. Considering there's nothing else here, I'd say spot on. Let's have a look. Fuck. Are you alright? I'm fine. The lid suddenly closed. That's all. What a cheap jump scare. I hate jump scares. I found the finger that... Jesus. This is going so quickly. What is happening? What? We have so much to read. I don't know what happened then it's jumped so much. Oh, you're right. I'm fine. The lid is lid suddenly closed. That's all. What a cheap jump scare. I hate jump scares. I found the finger though. One down, three to go. All right. Next one is located in the forest of knowledge. Surely there's one possible place for that. In the library, no doubt. Fair enough. And the yes, that's what I thought as well. Although a library doesn't exactly have books since everything is digital. But I think there's another way to interpret it. Hmm. Hey Mia, you're not actually here in the building, are you? Oh, that's great. Why would you say that? Also, I'm not Mia. Amber, wow, you're really committing to this. It's just that I think someone has been following me. Amber, you better not be hiding somewhere waiting to scare me. It's probably the spirit making sure you're performing the tasks correctly. Amber, I don't know, it feels real. Maybe just my imagination. If the library's across two levels, where should we st start? Let's check the top level. Hmm. What do you think? See anything? Um... Okay, what did it say? Within the forest of knowledge, you'll surely find the second. Let's take a trip around the world your heart beckons. Uh, assuming the globe? Okay. It has to be the globe, right? We 
We should check the bottom level. Sure, heading downstairs. He receives an image file. I don't get why I can't choose options. Wait. Um, can we slow that down? Ambient sound effects, background music, voice messages. Let's see if that helps. All right then, going up now. I think we're looking for here, let's try the upper level. It's the globe. Sure, moving downstairs. See an image file. I don't know what this auto keeps doing. Check the tables or let's try the upper level. I don't think we're looking in here. Let's try the upper level. Well, at least it gives me time to actually read it. All right then, going up now. You have received an image file. Okay, so it's the globe. It has to be the globe, right? Well, there's one thing here that has something to do with traveling around the world. It has to be that globe, right? The globe would be the most obvious item, yes. A bit too easy. Hopefully it's not a diversion. What do I do with it, though? You would turn it 360 degrees. It says you have to travel around the world, since the riddle says around the world. And around the world we go. I think I heard a click after full revolution. But I don't see any fingers pop out. Hang on a minute. Looks like something appeared in the middle of the room. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, got it. The second finger. This does not fill me with confidence. Alright, we don't have much time left, so we should do this last one fast. I think we're looking for a mirror. Wait, can I pause this quick? Yes, I think we're looking for a mirror. Yes, exactly. Oh no, wait, that's over here. Are the personal rooms or lockers on the top levels? The last that someone on the uppermost floor in a private place. Okay, wait. We don't have lockers, you know that. Private rooms could refer to the teacher's land, but us students don't have access, so... I think the bathroom is a good first guess as any. Fair enough. Man, I don't like horror situations in the toilet. Because it's cliche. It seems to be rather the common location for horror stories. That in mental asylums, hospitals, and schools. Love the fourth wall. It is a bit overused, yeah, but doesn't mean it's any less scary, though. Fair enough. I don't know, abandoned and rundown toilets just have this very specific look. Like you're gonna get murdered? Really creeps me out. Yep, looks exactly how I imagined it. You received an image file. Okay, so let's take this chance to actually read this thing. To so someone the upper floor in a private place, stare into your own eyes and don't be phased. So I'm assuming the mirror. Check all the stores. Suddenly, an unoddled. You should before you do anything. You should check all the stores, just in case. Empty every single one. Well, at least the mirror in question is quite obvious, since I remember very clearly that this mirror shouldn't exist. That and its run has no sink in front of it. So I guess all you have to do is stare into your own... So I guess all you have to do now is stare into your own reflection. Amber seems so. Nothing really weird around her. So that seems like her. Amber, you know, I really don't like how the riddle specif specifically tells me not to be phased. That implies something's gonna happen, right? Whatever you do, Amber, don't... Do not break eye contact with yourself. Got it. Just ignore everything and look straight into my own eyes. 100% you're not going to do that. Alright, here I go. How long do you think I need to be doing this? It's starting to feel a little awkward. Um, um. It's just a sound effect. Remember, they're messing with you. Okay, okay, calm down. It's nothing. It's just sound effects. None of this is real. Uh huh. Oh god, oh god, it stopped. The footsteps stopped. It's right behind me, isn't it? Amber, there's nothing behind you. 
Don't darth look away. Just listen to my voice and keep looking at the mirror. Yes, yes, there's nothing there. Nothing can hurt me, I know that. Obviously, nothing here I can touch. I felt something. <laughs> Shit, I swear something just touched my ankle. It's probably just a breeze. Ignore it till we find. Could be a mouse or a cockroach. Nothing to worry about. Could be a mouse or a cockroach. Nothing to worry about. Just concentrate on the mirror. No, no, no. Something's grabbing me. Someone with hands is holding onto my leg. I can feel it. There's no way this can be happening. It's impossible. Oh god, Mia, please, please tell me it's you. Please just be you messing with me. Yes, it was me all along, just screwing around. Haha. <laughs> Don't mind me, just keep looking for a little longer. I feel like we're doing the right thing trying to help her. You could at least try to be a bit more convincing. Wait. Wait, what? The mirror faded away. Okay, cool. We got her through this. Well done, us. Look at us being useful. Oh, the last finger. Jeez, that was... That was a lot of effort for a shitty little finger. I'm so exhausted, emotionally. I want to go back to my room and lie down. Whew. She survived. Well done, us. Don't forget, you still have to return the fingers. Don't have to, you still have to return the fingers. The spirit will burn down the school with you inside it. Oh yeah, almost forgot. How the fuck did you forget the one thing you're supposed to remember? I think I'm going to break if anything happens on the way. Please just let this be over. Shit. What in the world is that? That must be the warning sound for the countdown ending. I'm like 10 seconds away from the starting point. Fucking run! Come on, come on, we are so close. Are we gonna make this? Okay, I'm here. I'm in the room. Nice, looks like it just detects the items as soon as you enter. So no puzzles to solve or anything. Some reason I think we're still gonna have to solve the puzzle. Thank God, although it would be a nice touch if there was a segment for reattaching the fingers. It's still a demo after all. Thanks for the fingers, you win. Well, that was fun. Wait, this is a game? What are you on about? You were the one who told me about this. AR game demo. Wait. Hang on a minute. What is it, Amber? Something wrong? You, you're not Mia. No, how could I have messaged the wrong person? Mia should be top of my contacts. There's no way. Shit. Shit. Oh, this is bad. Wait, don't hang up on me again. Hello, Amber? What? Hey, are you still- Amber, hey, are you still there? You came back, thank God. So was Amber the person on the phone? Sorry, I am, um, um... I should have con I should not have contacted you. How did you contact me anyways? And, and why is that? And why is that a thing's a better onto this time? Nothing, no reason. So, I found this device in my mailbox earlier tonight. It looks like an old smartphone our school used like five years ago or something. I did some snooping around, but there's no personal data on it. No user account attached. The entire device is basically at factory settings apart from a messaging application with one contact. I wasn't sure what to do with it, and I was running late, so I synced it to my arrow and took off. Then, when I tried to call Mia, I tapped the wrong button. For some reason, the strange app uses the exact same icon as our communication app. What the hell is arrow? You can talk about an arrow, what exactly is an arrow? Oh, you're not from our school, are you? Arrows are basically smart glasses or contacts developed by our academy. You guys are still using smart panels outside, aren't you? Outside where? What? There's clearly some kind of fundamental misunderstanding here. There seems to be some kind of discrepancy between your world and mine. That one. Smart panels? Sorry, but you're not making any sense to me. There seems to be some kind of discrepancy between your world and mine. What, if you're capable of responding to our messages, how could you not have heard of smart panels? 
You know, why don't you tell me your name and how you came into contact with me? Alex? Call me Alex. I received a strange call from a girl earlier today. It sounded like she had mistaken me for someone else. And before I know it, she jumped. I think that was her dying message. Then immediately after that, someone else tried to message me, but disconnected before I could get anything out of them. Wait, you spoke to the girl who jumped off the rooftop garden? Yes, I assume she's from the same school as that girl. Yes, you were the one who talked to me after the suicide. Yes, were you the one who talked to me after the suicide? No, I'm not. I found this device in my mailbox after the suicide happened. So if the smart panel belonged to the girl who jumped from the roof, how did it... Why did she call me at such a trade who found the device in my mailbox who put it there and why? This is like... Just fuck me, this is like jumping down a wall of intrigue now. I have no idea, man. It's strange, though. This is a very old model. No, not just that, we don't use smart panels at Vistline anymore. So why is this thing even around? Where I'm from, smartphones are currently the norm. From what I've heard, your technology sounds pretty different from ours. Where I'm from, smartphones are currently the norm. Okay, I see what's going on. You do, then please enlighten me because I'm pretty lost. 100%, but fuck me, I'm now intrigued by all this shit. You're a fucking dialogue simulation, aren't you? An AI of some sort. No, wait, if you have your own separate strategy, then you're more likely a game. Or some kind of interactive fiction. You know, maybe you should have included an introduction with some lore before dropping me in. That would make the experience much smoother and less confusing. No, for reals, I've no idea what you're saying. I love the fact that I can be no for reals, like, the third time. I mean, what kind of name is Alex anyways? A fairly normal common one, just by the way. You have a start store page where I can rate you 1 out of 10. Terrible user experience, boring protagonist with no personality, poorly written dialogue. I don't know who created you, probably some senior's pet project, but I don't have time for games. Not with everything's... Everything uh, everyone's saying about Daniela's attempted suicide. Attempted, you mean, wait, is she alive? How would a game know, a game I know suicide that just happened? And who was that girl? Her name is Daniela, she jumped from the roof of our dormitory around 7pm tonight. Just a few hours ago. Luckily, she fell through some of the trees which broke her fall, so no, she's not dead. All I know is she's in our hospital right now. Condition unknown. What is going on? Um, do you know why she tried to kill herself? Because she had some weird rant with us and I want to know what is going on. I have no idea. No one I've spoken to does at this point. Apparently nothing was left behind. Daniela's pretty high profile around here. So it's after suicide is incredibly shocking. Especially with the weird event that led up to it. It's only been, what, six, seven hours? And there's already tons of theories floating around on our message board. Weird event? Weird event? What kind of weird events are we talking about? Well, Daniela is a streamer, and apparently a few nights ago, something strange happened while she was live. Wait, do you know what a streamer is? Do you guys even have internet? <laughs> Uh, streamers, you mean like Khalid Party Paper? Yes, I am, we have internet. I so bad when the streamers one, but I feel like that's just so anticlimactic. Uh, yes, and we have internet. I'm glad we have some technology in common. And streamers exist in our world too, assuming you're referring to the same thing. But us, it's people who love broadcast gameplay, music, their hobbies, and anything from their lives, really. Exactly, good to find some common ground. Daniela has always been in the spotlight for two different reasons. Firstly, Daniela is a popular lifestyle streamer, live broadcasting her daily activities at Vistline Academy to fans all over the world. And since our school has always been very controversial, she has attracted plenty of fans. 
but curious about what's going on from inside, from the inside. The second reason would be something from her past. Two nights before her suicide, it was the 8th, Daniela was streaming underground. An old VTRF with the arrow. I don't know what the fuck that means. Mm, I think if anything I tell you to make sense, we should get to know each other a little better, otherwise communica communication is going to be painful and filled with misunderstandings. That's a good idea, you were starting to lose me, but misunderstandings are the foundation of conflict and drama. <laughs> That's a good idea, you were starting to lose me. Some of these responses are fucking amazing. Yeah, I thought so. Also, if you are a simulated character from a fictional universe, now would be the time to educate me on your backstory. For the last time I'm I'm not a simulation, my law is pretty dull. I hope yours is more exciting. That one. Please tell me you have dragons. Uh, huh, no, we don't have dragons. Not yet, maybe. In a few years. What? How? Just... Huh? Now we... Before I tell you anything, I need you to promise me one thing. Anything, Amber. You're not someone from this line fucking with me. Right, because if you know about that and you still try to pull a prank like this, I swear when I find out your identity, I will... Cool, cool. Jesus, Am, I'm not from your school, I've never heard of it. Rachel, what is that you're referring to? I think we all know she's trying to kill us, we, we're not from your school. Have you ever heard of it? Uh, Jesus, Emma, I'm not from your school. I've never heard of it. Pretty sure it's not even on a plane of existence. 100%. Amber, okay, I believe you. Sorry, I know you don't understand, but trust me, if anyone else found this device, I guarantee they would have talked to you for as long as I have. Wouldn't have talked to you for as long as I have. Students here can be a little paranoid. And I think that is where we're going to end today's episode. We've been recording for almost half an hour at this point. And this game is fucking cool and interesting and great. I'm really enjoying it and this whole, like the whole puzzle thing was actually really well done, really interesting and it's like, oh cool, yay. We helped Amber not die. And then now there's just like all the other layers on top of it and it's just really interesting and really well written and really well done and I'm fucking sold on this game. But guys, like always, if you wanna play further ahead, you want to t try the game out for yourself, you want to let the developer know what you think, the link will be down in the description below, and I think just fucking well done to the developer, this is so good and so interesting. And guys, like always, just thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video, please, all those YouTube things, it really helps all you would ever know, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and just, most of all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys join me for the next part.